do a little update today on the chickens and how they're doing in their new winter chicken coop. <laughs> smell a little bit in here. Kind of like a vinegary smell like that. So what that's telling me is we need more carbon. So I'm just going to take some of this hay I have and spread it out and let the ladies go ahead and do their thing. Throw the flakes of hay down and let the girls do the rest of the work. Down, scratching through it, finding all the good stuff out of it right now to eat. And they'll spread it around and you kind of gotta remember too that these chickens have been out on pasture their whole life until they come into this coop. So all this hay and everything. They love it. They're going to pick through it and they're going to eat it the best they can. They're not just going to use it for bedding. They're going to be eating this stuff. They've been out having fresh grass their whole life, so they really look forward to this. Free range, free choice, oyster shells that they can eat. So if they need more calcium in their diet, they can go get it whenever they want. <laughs> they're making their own dust baths. in here right now. They're really enjoying the fresh hay I put down for them. So we just got 15 chicken eggs so far today. There's a duck egg over there and another chicken egg over there. So we got 16, 17 eggs plus one duck egg this morning. So we've gotten 18 eggs so far today. We've been averaging around 20 to 22 a day. We only have 24 laying hens. Been doing pretty darn good, I think. You'd almost think it's springtime with the amount of eggs you've been getting. They're really loving the greenhouse. They've been laying really good since they've been in here. They love all the fresh hay they get. As you can see, they're scratching through it and going to town. Even the ducks are loving it. Now even just since I put this hay down a few minutes ago, the smell in here has changed. There is no more smell. It's kind of like a, when you walked in, you just kind of felt it hit you in the face. There's a little bit of like a vinegary smell. You put the hay down, the girls have come in, they scratched it all around and moved it, and the smell's gone away. So the deep bedding really works. If you start smelling a nasty smell or a strong smell of anything, all you need to do is add some more carbon. In this case, we're using hay. The girls are loving eating it. It's a food source for them. They get more fresh greens, and it's a good carbon. I've just been using the lower nest boxes here. The upper ones I keep locked up. I don't want the girls just hanging out in here during the day and pooping up in here. 
So during the day, I keep the lower nest boxes open. When I get home from work, usually around like five o'clock, I'll come in, I'll collect my eggs. I get my eggs out, and then when I'm all done collecting the eggs, I just shut it up, and then that way at night, the girls can't go in there and sleep and poop all over the place. That's usually when the nest boxes get really dirty. This right here, this hay is the same hay I put in the first time we set up the coop for them. It's still clean, there's no poop. The eggs we're getting out are nice and clean. The ducks love the water. They're just going to town. They're the ones making the biggest mess over there. And, and I'm sure that's why we're going through about 50 gallons of water a week. butcher shop a couple of weeks ago. We'll be getting those back pretty soon. I'm gonna be going over how much pork and meat we got back from our pigs, how much they weighed, and we're gonna be doing like a breakdown of what we're getting back from the feed. Sorry all the noise, the ducks are going a little crazy over there in the water. Yeah, so we're gonna be getting all of our meat back from the butcher shop on the pig. So I'm gonna be going over to you what the feed costs were, what the butcher costs were, and how much money we have into the food. So if you wanna check that out, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it, and we'll see you right back here. I wanna say thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions on the chicken coop, or the chickens or anything, leave them down in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. We're posting a photo a day over on our Instagram account, so go check that out, Lumna Acres, over on Instagram. We have a Facebook page. We love hearing from you guys. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.